it is my pleasure to welcome everybody here today to the 61st Good Leadership Breakfast. Yeah. This is the time to kind of rethink what's possible in your lives, and that's one of the reasons why we host the Good Leadership Breakfast. Our mission here is to spread goodness through good leaders. We think goodness is that place where people thrive together. How does that produce good leadership? And the behaviors that we use as a leader come from how we think and feel. When we live generously, when we promote fairness and spread positivity. There's no real straight line. We have to go through all sorts of things intellectually and emotionally. We have to meet a lot of people. We have to survive a lot of challenges in order to actually understand what that really means. So that's one of the reasons why we do what we do at the Good Leadership Breakfast. One of the things that we've discovered is that goodness pays when it comes alive, especially when we help people really understand what's possible in their lives. Today, the third theme is that without a doubt, every time we do 7S Wheel across a group like this, the lowest satisfaction is fitness. Normally, I button these coats. <laughs> I'm super excited to introduce you to Chris Freitag. If you Google her these days, you'll find gethealthyyou.com. That's her creation. It's both an information site and it's also a member site. People sign up and actually pay to see her help them through workouts in the morning. Please join and welcome Chris. <clears throat> well, after I um, met you again about 18 months ago, one thing that changed in my life, spent a lot of time in airports, is I don't use those those walking things. <laughs> I make sure I walk instead of the uh, moving walkway. Right. And you know what? At least I feel better about that. Um. <laughs> We're all leaders in this, in this room, so we know that, that you are more successful when you work together. Why is fitness the lowest F on everyone's wheel? Is fear. There's that other F. Fear is a driver of inactivity. But I hope that I've motivated you to say, yes, you can. Yes, you can start somewhere. Allow yourself to be a beginner. The total collect today was $1,910. Mm -hmm. And with the generous match is $3,820. So thank you very yeah, much. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. I have glasses. <laughs> OK, I really can't see it. Joanne? Joanne Harms. Joanne From Harms. The Where's Joanne? Joanne. Feed my starving children. Oh, fantastic. Uh, our family goes there at least twice a year, and it's a great family environment. It's a great opportunity to help, and the video that they show always makes you feel good. Absolutely. So. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Thank you. Congratulations. And at U.S. Bank, we absolutely believe in doing the right thing. So supporting the message that goodness pays is, is a no-brainer for us. We can create an environment where our associates can really thrive. They uh, are empowered to help our clients thrive. It fits with, with our values and what we're trying to do. Leadership really is about great teams, great communities, but about great teams. As we're learning that goodness as a conversation is not soft. The people that are most attracted to this are the people that expect to create consistently positive financial results in their endeavors. That's not a soft concept. If you really embrace the goodness mindset, it comes alive in the relationships that it takes to actually help you succeed. The relationships with employees, with vendors and partners, with customers for sure, but the communities that we live and work in to help us thrive. It's a really rewarding conversation to look at the horizon and we have to bring people along with us to help create a picture of what's possible out there. That's one of the things that we do at Good Leadership Enterprises. It's one of the things that we help you with um, when you come to the Good Leadership Breakfast. As a leader of a business, I think it helps to maintain energy. It helps to make sure that you're feeling good and you're feeling your best, most positive self. Beyond just building your self-confidence from feeling and looking better, it does a lot of things to change your cortisol levels, your serotonin levels, that it actually changes the chemical makeup in your brain to build your self-confidence. It just puts me in a better mood overall. 